Thank you. So, what do you want? What's this supposed to be? Why do you have this? Hmm. Oh, now I get it. Kirijo put you up to this. Typical. She always goes out of her way for the dumbest shit. Think for yourself for once. Don't just go along with what everyone asks. You gotta learn how to say no. This is how they ended up pushing the role of leader on you. <laughs> we done? Get out of here. Hey. Thanks for going through all that trouble. Maybe I'll treat you to a meal sometime. What? You got a problem with that? I told you to get going. I already got plans. It doesn't matter. I'll be back by tonight. That's why I rejoined in the first place. <laughs> Two specials. Two specials coming right up! What's wrong? That hungry? All right then. Well, you're still growing. You can handle at least one bowl of ramen. Because I said I'd treat you. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. I'm just keeping the promises I made. That's all. You don't go back on your word, especially when it comes to something you promised. Right. Don't want the noodles to get soggy. I was thinking earlier, you really don't take any shit, even from your elders. I respect straightforwardness. Less trouble that way. Let's finish up and get the hell out of here. Welcome back. Were you together? Hmm? Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. I got the paperwork, but I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Then why... why did you come back here? I apologize. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Cut that out. I'm the one who chose to join you back then. However things turned out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. <sighs> right. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. <laughs> Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? 
The only choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, and you. So please, Aragaki, just give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Looks like a pretty serious discussion. Let me guess. This president is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education? Akihiko! Well, I'll be damned. For a protein-fueled, muscle-bound moron, you're pretty smart. What was that?! CMS president, this delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. Wait, we're not finished yet! Akihiko, why are you like this? Huh? Uh, what just happened? Was it something I said? Yeah. Give this to Kirijo. Preferably while you're at school. I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. That's a form to extend my leave of absence. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled. But I'll drop it if I can stay absent from school. Going myself would be more of a pain than it's worth. Plus, it seems like Kirijo depends on you. It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this. So help me out, alright? Hmm. So you'll do it? No questions asked? <laughs> I owe ya. I don't see you two together very often. What are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? Uh, that envelope. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. <laughs> hey, if Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. <laughs> you and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, go ahead and boss him around a bit. I'd rather get expelled. We're gonna finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. <sighs> Shinji! You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? Don't tell me you forgot your promise. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but... Still counting on you for that. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. I don't know. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. But sometimes, being too close to somebody can have its drawbacks. I'm not gonna nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. I'll leave it to you. Hello. Thank you. I don't think I ever told you about how things were before you joined. Seas originally started off with only three members. Back in middle school, I invited Akihiko to join, and Aragaki followed him soon after. We had no idea what we were doing back then. We were young, inexperienced, and we had almost no intel to work off of. We could barely even make it past the entrance to Tartarus back then. Actually exploring the tower like we're doing now was nothing more than a pipe dream. 
Even with all our shortcomings, we worked decently as a team. As peers, it was easy for us to connect, and the work was hard but fulfilling. I'm sorry, I'm not complaining about our current circumstances. We've discovered how to eliminate the Dark Hour, and we've since grown much stronger. However, after what happened in Yakushima, and with Aragaki rejoining, it's hard not to remember the old days. Maybe I'm so concerned about re-enrolling him in school because I'm still living in the past. Sometime after we started working as a team, we all came to an agreement. We promised we'd all graduate together. No one left behind. Akihiko was just as reckless back then, too. Our Gaki was always the one reminding him that our lives were at stake. Although his wording certainly wasn't quite so thoughtful. I know, right? I was surprised too. But Aragaki didn't use to distance himself from others like he does now. Ever since he left the team, he's acted like he's wanted to punish himself. It's almost like he just wants to waste away. I'm hoping he'll remember his promise and take a step back and look at himself. That's why I gave you the paperwork to get him back in school. That was my last hope, but... I suppose it didn't work out. I'll tell Akihiko myself. All right, I'll take this. I'll start on the process for extending his leave of absence. What's the matter? Oh, sure. What's wrong, though? Is it missing a page? I'll let you handle it, then. Make sure to let Aragaki know as well. Hmm. So, are you still carrying that thing around? Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry. But I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle, but that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone. And I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. Hmm. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but... It's the good memories that stay with you, and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Oh, damn. You really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kurijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today.
<laughs> Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again! You. Sorry for surprising you. I, I had a feeling someone was in here, so I came to check. What's that? <gasps> Did you find this? I see. He made a habit of not leaving behind any personal belongings. But <sighs> I have no idea when he filled out this form to return to school. Or whether he even planned to hand it in. But I think this is proof that he was thinking about the promise we made. Yes. He was so against it, and yet he still left this for us. I should show Akihiko. Or actually, maybe I shouldn't. He probably wouldn't approve. Let's just keep this between us for now. <laughs> it sounds like you know how to handle those two now. Thanks to you, I was able to understand how he really felt. I'll say this on behalf of all three of us. Thank you so much. Here. You take this. It should go to you, since you're the one who got him to open up. Someday, once we leave the storm, then I'll tell Akihiko. I'll tell him about his struggle returning to this room to fulfill the promise we made. But he never forgot those days when it was just the three of us. Not even for a moment. <laughs> 